The mice are, appear to be going between the feathers and getting to their skin and just slowly biting, taking little bits and pieces, chunks of skin and fat, since that's what's right under the skin. And at times they actually got all the way through to the musculature and were eating away at the muscle. It's pretty upsetting to come across this patch of beautiful, fairly graceful birds bloodied on the backs of their necks and in their shoulder blades. It is, it's pretty, uh, it makes a big impact on you. And we didn't realize initially how big the problem was. It grew pretty quickly and we spent a huge amount of time figuring out the scope of the problem. But it really wasn't until probably about a year or so down the road that we realized how big of an issue this really was as we continued to discover more and more areas on the island. It seems to be a learned behavior that they, they discovered that these birds are so dedicated to their eggs, they will not get up for, for a little mouse that happens to be on it. They don't really recognize that it's a predator. They haven't really evolved with predators on land. Their only natural predators really are sharks and those are in the ocean. So they don't know how to behave when it comes to predators. And so they have this very, very programmed behavior to stay on these eggs because they have put all of their energy into this, this one egg. They lay one egg a year. And if that egg for some reason is not viable or if they are off of it too long and it gets too cold, that's it for the year.